Yeah, hello. My name is Anand. I wish to demonstrate this Solutions Architect Associate Guided Lab. Uh, this is uh, module 3. Uh, that is uh, module 3. This is uh, uh, Guided Lab hosting a static website. Uh, yeah, I have already opened this lab. You can see this Guided Lab hosting a static website. Uh, also, I started this lab. The lab is ready. If you click this AWS, you should open, you should get a new window uh, where you can, uh, yeah, I try once again with all your Amazon infrastructure created for this lab. So, the objectives of this lab, see, this is a hosting website on S3 that is uh, uh, st storage, I mean, object class storage, simple storage service. So, you will be learning about, you see this one, uh, what you are going to learn after completing this lab. Creating a bucket in Amazon S3, upload the content to your bucket, enable access to bucket objects and also update the website. Okay, so I started the lab already, I have this lab. So, creating a bucket in S3. So, go to the service, say S3, create a bucket. So, what you need to give, he mentions that website hyphen some random number. Okay, let us go to this S3, if it is not listed and recently visited, you can say go to storage. So, I mean go to storage and there you see this S3. Otherwise, if you know the service name, just directly enter the service name in the search bar, you will go into the dashboard. So, this is S3 dashboard. See here in this lab, there is some bucket which is there, leave it. We need to learn about a bucket creation. So, create a bucket. So, he clearly mentioned that you should have website hyphen 123, some random number. So, I create like this website, website hyphen maybe 301, some number, some random number. And you see this ACLs are disabled. Uh, let me check what he has mentioned. He did not mention anything. So, I will just say that, uh, see here, uh, verify that the region is US East hyphen 1 region and uh, if the object ownership select ACLs enabled, bucket owner is preferred as selected and clear this block all public access also, I acknowledge this current. So, many things needed here. So, here he has selected North Virginia, he mentioned, so mentioned as US East hyphen 1. I am already in use East hyphen one. That is okay. So, ACLs also should be enabled and bucket owner preferred. That is what he has asked us to set. Uh, ACLs enabled and bucket owner. And also we need to do one more thing which is block public access. Uh, this should be disabled. Okay. See this one. This should be disabled and then untick that. Clear the box and also you acknowledge I acknowledge that the current settings might not. Rest all things should be as usual as default and create the bucket. If you want optionally, you can enable the versioning, but now not required and also add tags, encryption and all these things leave it default. Create the bucket. If the bucket is not existing elsewhere, you can see the bucket created. If it is existing, then change the number to something else. Okay, so the bucket is successfully created. I think we need to uh, give this key and value also. Okay. So, yeah, let me check. So, this is your website. I forgot to add this uh, tags. I will do it manually. So, how do you do that? The key value is department and value is marketing. So, go to this bucket. So, already I am into this bucket. See this? Go to properties. Maybe here you can set the properties as tags. So, edit the tags. I am giving it manually. Otherwise, you should have done during the exercise beginning itself. So, I give this department and also value as marketing and say save changes. Yeah, it is done now. It is done now. So, properties tab, yes, it is done. Save changes is done. Next, you will see the configure website hosting. 
go to properties static website and say edit and give this value as enable uh, hosting type is hosting a static website index.html should be given as the name so how do i do so go to properties scroll to the bottom of this uh, page you see the static website hosting say edit and say enable okay here you say index.html index.html and error document normally he says okay index you see hosting type is uh, hosting a website uh, error.html okay you say here error.html finished so now what you can do you can just say save changes save changes this should complete task 1 see the save changes yes it is done now scroll down to the bottom once you made a save you get a url you get a url you see this website 301 is your bucket name has three website us east used one is your i mean your uh, availability zone uh, that is your what we call availability zone and region uh, Amazon uh, AWS.com. Okay, just open this one. You will be getting this 403 forbidden. No surprise. This is okay. This is as usual expected. 403 forbidden. So now let us learn about how to upload the contents to your bucket. So I just downloaded all these three things and kept it in my folder local. Just click this index.html script JS and CSS. Upload these three files. Upload these three files. Add the files and then just close it so how do i do that i go to the bucket to the top objects there are no files nothing so you can say just upload just say add files so i already added all the files it is there on my desktop okay all the three files so you see index.html uh, script 1.js style one gs okay just say upload just say upload so once all the three files are uploaded you can say close i think the this file is something index one html that's okay otherwise i should have named it as index.html in my local folder Okay, I'll upload once again only that file. Add file, upload. Okay, say close. Yeah, I can delete this particular file. this index.html is no more needed I can delete this file I need to write permanently delete and say delete. So overall once you see these three files should be existed. So with this we have completed task 2. So now task 3 enabling access to the objects. Okay, Let us take this uh, file called as browser tab shown uh, over there this static website let me try to run this particular one still it shows for 403 forbidden only see this one even though the index.html file is there uh, it still shows the same thing so you have this endpoint also you have this endpoint uh, the same thing so now what we are going to do uh, select all the three objects select all the three index.html script and JSS. so what he asks us to do 
make public via ACL, make public via ACL. Under actions, scroll down, say make public via ACL and say make public. So, now let us check what is happening now. After that, you should try to refresh the page here. You should see the website is running now properly with all I mean with JSS, HTML and CSS files successfully this way. So, absolutely this is now properly executed. Task 4, updating the website. You can change the website by editing HTML and uploading it into S3. So, on your computer index.html, I will just show you. You can open with notepad or even notepad plus plus or text edit whatever it is. So, he asked us to do some changes, your name okay maybe created by jane so something like that served from amazon s3 you can give some name some name uh, let us try to do that let us try to do that served from amazon s3 replace with your name so how to do that go to your file index.html say that i mean uh, what we call as i i open with uh, open with uh, maybe notepad okay just select where is served with Amazon. Served. You can see here there is a heading. So, what do you do as per the request? You see uh, created by, you can replace with created by maybe my name, okay. Created by my name. I will write like this. by k ok I see here and return to and save and upload once again to uh, index.html I did not save here I will save it file save as I will save it onto the desktop just to save or maybe to uh, say codes save it. yes index.html only ensure that save as do not say text, all files, it is index.html only. It should be opened via index.html only. If you are saving it as text, then it will be a problem. Just to say, you want to replace, yes, fine. So, now what you can do once again, once again, oh yeah, this is closed. Once again, upload this file, only this specific file. So, upload, add files you can say this modified file index.html just say upload. So, it will try to overwrite the existing file. So, yes over uploading is successful now it has overwritten. So, you can see the date and time which has been uh, a different one. Uh, now, once again select this index.html file select the index.html if you try to run this website now it won't function because the index, the acl is now changed i mean the it has been changed so what i do i select this uh, files maybe only one of the file is okay index.html otherwise you can select all the files and say make public via acl you say make public once again yeah it has done close nothing failures try to refresh now you should see your name displayed right your website is now accessible via internet fantastic so once you have done that you can do the last part that is submission of your work in the top of the instruction just say submit and then check your grades yes submissions are done you can check your grades ok it is not showing not available yet it is ok yeah it is it is 20 by 20 just you need to wait after submission to get the grade so all task 1a 1b task 2 2 3 is successfully completed 
So, once this is complete, what you can do is uh, you can just end lab, end lab so that all the instruct all the resources gets terminated and you need to do that ok. So, it is started. So, when you get this dialog box, yes you can uh, just close this window box. This all in this lab of module 3, let us again meet again in a different uh, lab of module 4 ok. Thank you and bye.